Thanks for joining today's STEAM session. My name is Kylie from Brimbank Libraries and today we are going to extract DNA from strawberries. Have you ever wondered what DNA looks like? Sometimes see pictures on TV or in books of a double helix swirling around. But what does it actually look like? Today we are going to find out. So first off you will need some strawberries some water, some salt, some dishwashing detergent, spoons, a couple of bowls for mixing, some cheesecloth, a funnel, but if you don't have one, you can do what I've done and just chop off the top of a soft drink bottle and a clear glass. And the final thing you will need is some rubbing alcohol. So it might be best to speak to your mum or dad about getting that. They should be able to get it maybe from a, a chemist. Now this also needs to be super cold for the experiment. So chuck it in the freezer for an hour or two beforehand and make sure it's nice and cool before we start. Okay, so the very first thing we need are the three strawberries with the tops taken off, so no green leaves. Pop them into a sandwich bag and make sure all the air has been squeezed out. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to squeeze all the air out, seal it back up, and this is the fun part, kids. We get to mash up the strawberries. So give it a good minute or two of mashing, and when we're done, we'll be ready to go to the next step. Okay, so if you've been mashing for a good couple of minutes, you should have what looks like a bit of a strawberry slurping in your bag. It should be all mashed up and a bit gross. So we'll pop that aside for the moment and we'll get on to creating our extraction fluid. Now to create our extraction fluid, what we need to do is using a, a bowl, pour in approximately a third of a cup of water, it's about a third, add half a teaspoon of salt. about a tablespoon of dish soap. Okay, so we give that a really good stir. Make sure it's all combined. Give it a stir, stir, stir. And once it's all mixed together, we can pour it in with our strawberry mix. Open up the bag and be careful not to get strawberry everywhere because it does stain. Pour your extraction fluid in. Make sure you get all of it in there. Zip it back up and mix it all together. Now do this nice and slowly. You don't want to create bubbles in the mixture. Okay? So give it a really good mix. You should be left with an even slimier strawberry mixture in your bag. Something like this. Yeah, pretty gross. Now, taking your clear bowl, or what I'm using is a clear cup, which is quite good because it's you can see the size quite easily. You put your funnel in there and your cheesecloth over the top. And we pour our strawberry mixture. So the reason why we're straining this is we don't want all those little seeds that you see in strawberries or the skin to be in the mixture. We just want fluid. So by mixing the, the mashed up strawberry with that extraction fluid we made from the salt and the soap, we've managed to actually break open the cells of the strawberry and it's released the DNA into the liquid. Now this can take a little while, so while it's straining through, I'll leave you and I'll come back once we're ready to do the last and final exciting bit. 
Okay, so our mixture has gone through the funnel through the cheesecloth and it's strained into the cup. But as you can see, there's a little bit of froth on the top. And we don't want that. So I'm going to very carefully with my spoon, just scrape it off into one of my containers that I've already used. Get off as much of those bubbles as we can because they're just going to get in the way of our experiment. We want a nice clear liquid underneath, no bubbles if possible. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it should still work. Just do the best we can. So hopefully that will work. I've got the majority of them off. Now it's time to add the ice, ice cold rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to use an empty um, gravy boat for mine. And you can use a little jug or a small cup just to make it pouring in a little easier. And you want about the same, at least the same amount as what you've got in your cup of strawberries. So I'll add in there. So I've put my rubbing alcohol into my little pouring jug and I want to be careful not to mix it with the strawberries, okay? We need to put it in very slowly so it sits on top. So what we do is we tilt the glass with the strawberries in and very slowly run the alcohol down the side of the glass so it just sits on top of our strawberry mixture. Now we continue to do that until we have enough of it covering the strawberries. Slowly tip it back. Okay, so we leave that for a little bit now and you can watch it actually as it happens. If you have a look over the top, not right over the top, you don't want to breathe in the fumes of, of the rubbing alcohol. But if you look just over the top, you can see there's something coming out of our strawberry mixture. It looks kind of white and stringy. And if you can see that, that is actually the individual strands of DNA being released from the strawberry mixture into our alcohol. So what I might do is let this sit here for a couple of minutes, let it all start to separate properly. We'll come back. And I'll show you what DNA looks like. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and I can definitely see some strands forming. If I leave it longer, more will probably form, but I'm guessing you're dying to see what it looks like. Now, you can use maybe a wooden kebab stick or chazelle stick, um, maybe a paddle pot stick or even a tish, um, maybe even a toothpick to get it out if your container's small enough. And what you want to do is slowly Dip it in where you see those strands. And ever so gently start twirling very slowly, collecting those strands as we go. So ever so slowly swirling, just through the top layer of the alcohol, not down into the strawberry itself. We don't want to mix it. And ever so gently lifting it up now I don't know about you if you can see there is something hanging from my stick and that is DNA now there's not very much there because I haven't left it for an awful long time only for a couple of minutes but maybe if you try with more strawberries and more time you would get a much bigger glob of DNA can see there's still some more forming. So have a go at home, see how you go. Maybe try some other fruits and veggies, maybe try some blueberries or something like that. See if you can extract DNA from, from those. And maybe have a go at doing this experiment with mum and dad. They might be amazed at what you can do with some household things and just a bit of rubbing alcohol. And if you'd like to know more about DNA and how it makes everyone different and everyone unique check out some books from the library we've got plenty on dna that's for sure but until next time
keep experimenting. And I'll see you again. Bye.